Maximum Gaming and today I'm bringing you guys a new tutorial for Brute Force Save Data 4.7 on how to add cheats to Brute Force Save Data. So I received a request on my YouTube channel for me to show you guys how to add cheats to Brute Force Save Data 4.7, 4.6. Now I'm gonna give you guys two scenarios. So in the video, you're gonna have scenario one and scenario two. Um, if you wanna find out which one applies to you, in the actual video below, I'm gonna actually mark the time frame. So if you're looking for scenario two, you know where to go in the video. If you're looking for scenario one, you know where to scroll in the video. So basically, let's get into scenario one. Scenario one consists of if you have a save and you have the keys and you go to the save, there aren't any cheats. So let's jump into that right now. So I'm going to open up Brute Force Save Data and I'm actually going to go to my Kingdom Hearts 2 um, remix and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Just bear with me for a second. So right here, I have Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. I have the key. And when I decrypt all files, which I'm, which I'm normally going to do, I'm going to cheats. I go to apply cheats. Now, as you guys can see, I just put this cheat in earlier to test this out, but I'm actually going to delete it. So just give me a second, guys. Take this out real quick. Hit delete. I hit save. And then go back to my cheats. So as you guys can see, if you have a save, you have the keys, but there are no cheats available, this is where you will go to add your cheat. So you would click down here, right? And I'm going to show you two sites where I get my cheats from. And I would recommend you guys to start here if you're looking for the cheats for a certain game. So bruteforsavedata.reform.net is one of the best places I go to to get the latest cheats for a game either that is about to come out or just came out and I'm looking for cheats. I have the save, I have the key, and it can decrypt, but I have any cheats. I don't have any cheats. So I would go here and look around and ask an admin where I can get that cheat or does he have the cheat or when is that cheat coming out. I'm using Kingdom Hearts 2 for one reason because it just came out a couple of days and I'm looking on the reforms and everybody's asking for cheats. So another place where I get cheats from is next gen update. Now, <clears throat> sorry guys, has something in my throat. So this is what a typical cheat will look like. Um, like I said before, you could try brute force save data dot reform dot net or next gen update. So I've been following next gen update and this is one for Kingdom Hearts. So basically what you will want to do is copy the name. Go to Brute Force Save Data. Just put the name in. Right? And then go back to Next Gen Update and copy all this information. All these zeros. Basically these are just offsets to the game. And people wrote the code up or found the code. And just hit copy. Make sure you get everything. You don't miss anything. Go back to brute force save data. Right below it, just paste in that offset. Look to look just like this, right? And hit save. Right? Now, when you go back to your cheat, that cheat should be listed. And as you guys can see, unlock all abilities. It's already checked. Um, I can uncheck it if I want to. And hit apply. As you guys can see, one cheat applied. Hit OK, encrypt, and hit yes. And that's it. You just copy back the save to your PS3 and see if it works. Now, one thing that I would recommend to you guys to do all the time is to always back up your original save. Too many times I'm hearing people say to me, oh, my save is corrupted. Oh, I lost my data. This is common sense. If you are experimenting with adding cheats for the first time and you're not sure those cheats work, one, always back up your um, save. What I also recommend, and this is what I do most of the time, I make a dummy account 
versus having my regular account. So on my dummy account, uh, I, I make a dummy save. I then take that save, put it into brute force save data. I try different cheats from different places, apply them, go back to my PS3, see if it works on my dummy account. And then if it does work, then I apply it to my main account. I would recommend you do your dummy account versus doing your main account because you never want to mess up your data and you don't want to get corrupt data. So best thing to do if you have a save and you're not sure if those cheats actually work is to do it on a dummy account. So that's pretty much it guys for doing an actual um, cheat, applying cheats to your save. Now I'm going to get into scenario number two, which is what if I have the save, but I don't have a key here listed, what should I do from there? First and foremost, if you have a save, and I'm going to scroll up real quick and show you what I mean. You have a save, and there's no key here. First thing you want to do is get the disk hash key before you even try to go about applying cheats. Get the disk hash key. When you get a disk hash key, which I showed you before, I'm going to show you one, a sample one. Uh, give me one second, guys. Go to settings, open up game.conf. Right? You scroll down. These are the disk hash keys. Make, first thing first, if you got the save but there's no key listed, you need to get this first. Right? And make sure when you get your disk hash key, it has your region listed. Like as you can see above it, it has one for a PSN or two for PSN, one for Japan, another one. Just make sure that whatever region your whatever your region your game is, is listed here. And then you paste that in your game.conf, you save it, and then what you want to do on the save, which I'm gonna use this one, you could press F6. Or it should be a set a brute right here, brute force, right? Give it a second, hit OK, and bam, there's your, there's your key right there. As you can see, I just did that, and it actually put the key in for me. And from there, you can go and decrypt the save, right? Hit yes. Then you can go apply cheats. And then you could go below. Like I showed you before, add the cheats in, save it. Then from there, you can go apply the cheats. It should be listed. If you click on it, all your cheats, I don't know how many you're going to add, and it says applied, then you just need to test it out to make sure it works. And that's it. That's, that's all there is to getting cheats or adding cheats to brute force save data. It's not that difficult. I think the number one thing that I found with adding cheats is that you need to test it first. That is the most important thing you need to do before you start doing it on your main account. Test and test and test. So as you guys can see right here, I'm just going to show you an example. These are cheats for Kingdom Heart 2 that I found on Next Gen Update. And I didn't test all of them, but... Some people said they did some some people said they didn't work, but from the most part, uh, I would say test and test and test. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. If you're looking for cheats, go to next gen update. If you're looking for more cheats or another site for cheat, go to brute force save data dot reform dot net and ask an admin there. And they usually respond within 24 hours to your question. But as always, it's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming. Check out my gaming channel. If you have any questions, comments, or any concerns, email me at XMIGaming.com or just leave a post on my YouTube channel. As always, I thank you guys for watching my video. If you like this video, leave a comment below. If you like this video, leave a like. As always, peace.